Welcome back to Anderton's TV. I feel like it's been years. It has. We have wheeled out the AFD 100, which means we must be doing a slash inspired video, and indeed we are. Mr. Pete, what's in here? Easily. There's not a severed head, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Uh, this is <laughs> Jessica. Yes, indeed. Not Jessica, the <laughs> that uh, last night. No, that's <laughs> <laughs> This is Jessica. Yeah. Yes, not the rabbit, uh, the Les Paul, um, one of not Slash's. The rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. One of Slash's Ooh. famous Les Pauls, based on a, a guitar uh, that he was given by Gibson in the late 80s, I believe. I'll tell you the spec in a minute. Do you want to unbox, Mr. P? How long has he been with Gibson? Oh, since the beginning, I suppose, really. Well, beginning of Gibson or the beginning of Slash? Uh, oh, so we're unboxing. This is the first time we've seen it. Maybe it's the first time you've seen it. It's new for 2024, sort of new. Do we think the blanket has Ooh. come back? Oh, the latches are good. different, aren't they? Look, big, Yeah, there's satin bigger, in this, aren't yeah, they? And chunkier as well. You've got one yeah. on the back. But these are the same as they are on the original ones. But I'm wondering, is there a blanket in here? Bring back the blanket. No! Oh, no it's not, not even pink inside. It's not even pink inside. Oh, it smells so good, man. Right, so hold I mean, it honestly, up to camera, Mr. Pete, and yeah. I'll tell the people what it is, or at least what Gibson say it is. Oh, this looks good, man. So, here we are. So Guns N' Roses and Velvet Revolver fans will undoubtedly be familiar with the guitar that Slash named Jessica. I wonder why. We should ask him. Slash, if you're watching, comment below. Why do you call it Jessica? Uh, Jessica has been Slash's main stage guitar since 1988. The original Jessica was a factory second, almost like a reject, I suppose, and one of two Les Paul guitars that Gibson sent to Slash in the 1980s. So not to be confused with his um, Chris Derrick kind of 59 reissues, nothing to do with the Appetite for Destruction, okay. Les Paul, right, right, right. like that. Um, it's got a chunky old neck on it. Yeah. So uh, Gibson are proud to, to introduce this new model based on Slash's old favorite. So here comes the spec. So Jessica features a three-piece plain maple top you can on see a non-weight relieved mahogany body. Yeah. Mahogany neck with a 50s vintage neck profile. Uh, I have got a regular 50s Les Paul standard behind me. And what we will do at some point in this video is just a quick side-by-side -side tone comparison. We'll do a test to see who can hold it out, stretched arm for the longest. <laughs> you do, is that part of your swoller thing that you... <laughs> you better be swole. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what else is new in this? So, non-weight relief, mahogany neck, 50s minute. I told you all that. Jessica is powered by a pair of custom burst bucket pickups with Alnico 2 magnets that are hand-wired. Uh, we have orange drop capacitors. It says it was originally a bright cherry sunburst and Slash had Jessica refinished, which is reflected, minus the considerable road wear on the original. Uh, it's a gloss nitrocellulose finish with a red back. Um, it also says here, Slash's signature is reproduced on the truss rod cover. Shallow strap locks are pre-installed on the guitar and other extras include a Slash pick set, a USA leather strap, a multi-tool, uh, a blank truss quick. rod cover You're doing too quick. You're going <laughs> and the case. Slash picks, you said? Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Uh, leather strap. Nice. Real leather. Smell that. Faux leather. Is it? Oh. Oh. You get a different sure. uh, truss rod cover. Uh, a chrome, it says. Oh, you can put a pick guard on it if yeah, you want to, can guard. you? Okay. Oh, that way around. What am I doing? Um, and uh, what else have we got here? A unlock Gibson experience with the, their app and Anderson's checked. And then you've got all the stuff in here, I guess. Right, yeah. well, let's plug it in. Let's see Yay! what it sounds like. Let me get rid of all this for you. Tell you what, it looks good, man. Let's go! Let's have it, let's have it. <laughs> Just out of the bag as well, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good sound, man. It's a great what, what sound. Is it, what is there not to like with the Marshall and a, and a, and a Les Paul? It's just. It's 
is a tone a tip, of, uh, all of you uh, guitar aficionados here. So look, hardly any gain in the lower sensitivity input. So mm -hmm. again, less gain, lots of volume. What we really should have had here is the new magnetone, but uh, they haven't arrived yet. No. But yeah, if honestly, you have one of these, that is okay. Because it's yeah, there's, yeah. It, it's too much gain, and you're just into Della Fizz. The, the slash sound is there. Obviously, there is gain there, but yeah. it's just it's power gain and a little bit of preamp gain. Rock, isn't it? It's just the rock tone, yeah. isn't it? Is that yeah. <laughs> I bet you, I kept saying that, I bet you if Slash ever watches one of these videos with his uh, reviewers, he's asking people playing Slash licks on, he must be going, Oh, please play something else. Please yeah. play something else. I wonder who Slash's favourite guitarist is. That's a good question. Mm. Chris Buck? <laughs> it could be. Uh, that's what Let's I Let's go through the tone and see if we can clean it up a little yeah. bit and just see, and then we'll compare it to a regular. So, uh, Burst Buck is. What custom, was on here? Custom, custom Burst Buckers. Custom Burst Buckers. Alnico 2 magnets. So, is really what it low says. outputs. So yeah, no cover up. on them. I mean, that's, yep. you know, some people say that changes the tone a teeny weeny bit. Would change the tone. It's well. likely to make them slightly less microphonic. Um, is it? Yeah. I thought it was like to make them slightly more microphonic. microphonic. No, the covers tend to. Anyway. Do they? What do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I'm just asking the question here. I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. Here's the neck. Roll it back. substantial neck on this is it it's chunk meister it's chunk city i like it though we'll but it's, it's it like to, a, the, to the 50s neck on yeah, a standard it's, it's a it's very very chunk you've got a little bit more gainly well you've got the pedal you could just i do have the pedal just just so i'll put it back sorry excuse me i've got a dcx boost just set to the booster <laughs> It sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, Marshalls and Les Pauls. What yeah, a marriage like made in heaven. Yeah, it is, but then you, then you see people play a Les Paul into a Fender amp. It sounds great too. It sounds man. good too. It sounds good too. Uh, middle position. <laughs> That's got a bit of a Peter a Green thing on it. It's got great. a hunk, it's got a hunk to it. Yeah. It smells so delicious. I'm going to turn down the uh, the bridge. Okay. 
it's it, it feels like the strings here are heavier as well. I well, let's get scientific. Numbers. He says in let's an unscientific way. Uh, let's just compare. So this is a, a stock '50s uh, spec Les Paul standard, American Les Paul standard. Uh -huh. Uh, beautiful colour. Uh, let's see. Are they the same? Oh no, this definitely is it's more substantial, isn't it? Much more. So okay, so not the same neck as on a fifties. It feels. This feels more like a proper fifty-eight neck. Neck, where this one. This has got is, shoulders, hasn't it? Yeah. This has got shoulders. It's got the broad shoulders on it. This is more. It's. Oh yeah, that's that is a. That is a manly neck. That is you, that is. You know, like his acoustic guitars. Yes. When, if you pick up a J forty-five. And you pick up his signature J45. It's just so much more. So he's got big hands, does he? I'm not sure. He's a big guy. Is well, he? No, actually, he's not a big guy. He's, he's like his muscular guy, isn't he? He's yeah, not but sort of I, super tall or anything like that. Is he not? Is he like me? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a substantial. It's not as meaty sound. It's not as. <laughs> The neck here seems it seems quite light, doesn't it? I'm gonna get shut down in the comment section for playing that wrong, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> It sounds good though. So it's these are good and it sounds Burst good. Bucker one and two. That's yeah. right, because the sixties is a two and a three, isn't it? Yeah. So these are custom versions of those yeah. pickups. But you can definitely tell. You can hear it if I go on here. Maybe just a brightness maybe thing this then, rather one, than Maybe this meat. one is brighter. Maybe no, there's more meat than that one. I don't know, man. <laughs> no, there is more meat to that one. I think so. All over. All mm. over all meat. It's Jessica's meat. It's Jessica's meat. That's what I can meat. hear. <laughs> Right, okay, so well, there we go. Back to this. Yeah. Is that we done? Are we sort of. I think I mean, we're done. I mean, this so, is another one for the Slash fans, isn't it? Yeah, so what you we're know? saying is predominantly out there, I think, for the Slash fans, it's a little bit more expensive than a Les Paul standard. I think you sort of, you know, not much change out of 3,000 English pounds. But it's for not this. a limited edition, though, I right? don't think it's limited. Um, okay. I doubt it'll be in the catalogue forever, but yeah, it's not limited to a number. Um, it's a good guitar. Chunkier, man, it's, yeah. chunkier feeling neck. Different finish, obviously, different vibe with the planer top and the three piece top. Yeah. Um, I like that. But yeah, like you say, one for the slash fans for shizzle. Absolutely. Um, I like the fact that the neck's a bit different to a 50 standard. Otherwise, it's like, what's the point? It's just a 50 standard in a different color, isn't it's it? So definitely it's definitely a, 50 a different eight. vibe. 58 vibe. Yes, it's fat. Well, this isn't is it? more 59. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Um, all right then, slash fans, what did you think in the comments section below? Um, that's kind of it for today. See you in another video soon.